and the steel band. The time is 7 a.m. and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. Please remain seated until the end. Southern Caribbean, visiting one of the most fascinating countries in the region, my land of Trinidad and Tobago, with its golden sun-kissed days and warm, vibrant people. There's so much that I want to show you, so sit back, relax, and let its beauty seduce you. unusual and unique aspects of my country is the mixture of its people, a colorful potpourri of the Indian, African, Chinese, Assyrian and European who came here many years ago to settle in this glorious land. One of the most beautiful places to be in the country's capital is the Grand Savannah, a wide expanse of lush green grass, tropical trees where one can just relax and absorb the aesthetic wonder of it all. On the west side, there stands a magnificent row of old houses, relics of the country's colonial past. Untouched by time and progress, they serve as a link to remind us of our colorful heritage. of the city of Port of Spain, the nation's capital, is a reflection of the country's development as it meets the challenge of tomorrow. Black gold, our main source of wealth, is found in its richest supply in offshore reserves of natural gas and has been instrumental in the development of our steel and petrochemical industrial complex at Point Lisas. The availability of low-cost fuel, deepwater harbors, and expansion space are just some of the incentives and attractions offered to overseas interests who may wish to invest in Trinidad and Tobago on a joint venture basis. by export incentives and duty-free concessions, local manufacturing supplies demands at both a national and international level, facilitated by a ready supply of fuel, transport and labor.
Trinidad and Tobago is a country on the move towards rapid social and economic development, secure in its foundation of financial and political stability. Trinidad and Tobago has also made great strides in the field of sport. Enhanced by sophisticated and varied sporting facilities, our skill and prowess has been proven at both a national and international level by outstanding performers such as Hazley Crawford, 1976 Olympic gold medalist, 100 meters, Claude Noel, 1981 world lightweight champion, Maria Nunes, world junior golf champion, in 1979, we were joint world netball champion. As we slip silently away from it all, one marvels at the landscape of Trinidad and Tobago, which offers a beauty so mesmerizing and serene that it leaves the visitor spellbound. enchantment that the visitor experiences. One of the most apparent being the thrill of discovery at beholding nature in such a beautiful and unspoiled state. One such untouched area is the Karani Swamp, a mangrove network teeming with wildlife, home of the mysterious scarlet ibis and other fascinating creatures. Behold, nature in all her glory. adventurer, tread through mysterious rivers, discover sparkling waterfalls, conquer mountain ranges and explore forests filled with exotic life. Once called Airi, Trinidad and Tobago is the land of a hummingbird and houses some hundreds of species of colorful butterflies. There is also a wondrous array of exotic tropical birds. One of the rarest of these feathered fantasies being the oil bird, which can be found at the Asiarite Nature Center, world renowned for its bird watching and research opportunities. The beauty of the landscape arrests the onlooker. The golden yellow of the Pui, flames of the spreading immortel, the sweet nectar of the hibiscus, and the pink blush of the Bogan Villa are just some of nature's gifts that grow in exuberant profusion in this land of fairest beauty. Throughout Trinidad and Tobago, there are many interesting places to visit. The pitch lake at Libre extends over 90 acres, producing natural asphalt for road making. The only commercially worked source in the world, it can be described as a truly unique phenomenon. While driving through Trinidad and Tobago, one will observe places of superb scenic beauty.
one of the most wonderful things about being a tropical island is that we are surrounded by the clear, warm waters of the sea. The abundance of marine life that can be found here makes snorkeling and scuba diving a breathtaking experience. <laughs> very, very simple. Okay, now what we want to do is just keep that breathing rhythm and stoop gently down into the water. Nothing's going to happen. Okay, I'm right here. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. It's even a lot like better when you're, world, out yes. on, when you're out on the reefs. Look oh at all the little fish. You know, it's really colorful, really pretty. Oh and it's not God. hard. Yeah, it's great. Right. <sighs> that was great. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and Tobago, you will discover much about the traditions and culture that the many different groups of people brought when they came to settle here. The Caribs, the country's first inhabitants, left a legacy of slanted eyes and chiseled cheekbones etched on their descendants as each year they celebrate their victorious struggle for permanence. Catholicism came with the arrival of the Spanish, and their language lives on in the sweet music of Paran. When the British took over, they introduced the Church of England, and as other immigrant groups came, they brought their religion and culture. The East Indian came as an indentured laborer and brought with him Hinduism and Islam. The Muslims brought their Gothic architecture, visible in the intricate arches of this beautiful mosque, their place of worship. They celebrate the festivals of Jose and Ido Fitur. Salam Alaikum. Flag and the Mandir, symbols of the Hindu in the community, sharing with us the glorious message of Diwali, Festival of Light. During slavery, much of the African culture was suppressed. However, its roots have emerged in forms that uniquely belong to Trinidad and Tobago. China, destitution in Cambodia, but in Trinidad. Land of hope and glory. Sweet the Calypso draws upon Trinidad. African storyteller traditions and has become a vehicle for social commentary as well as entertainment. No, 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 Begging all the men to stay. 
the raw earthy rhythms of the African drums, tempered by the powers of fire and steel, have been transformed into one of the 20th century's most important musical innovations, the steel band. Trinidad and Tobago, birthplace of the steel band, calypso, and the limbo, a rhythmic pulsating display of skill, strength, and power. dances of Trinidad and Tobago that physical expression is given to the rich cultural background of the people. in Trinidad and Tobago that offer a cuisine as deliciously spiced and cosmopolitan as its people. Right now I'm having fresh kingfish caught today. Mmm, delicious. Staying in Tobago or in Trinidad, there is a range of accommodation from the cozy guest house to the international hotel that caters to the traveler, whether on holiday or business. The hotels are at their busiest during the annual carnival season when thousands of visitors flock to witness the world's greatest spectacle of spontaneity, movement and excitement. Carnival is a time when the whole country bursts into one glorious explosion of celebration and revelation. Come, see for yourself. Trinidad and Tobago, it expressed the designers' concepts become realities, and the skilled workers add the final touches to these magnificent creations. Carnival has been transformed from its religious and ritualistic beginnings to become one of the world's greatest spectacles. It is a dynamic experience, 
And the only way you can truly appreciate the total involvement that one feels is to be here. I'm enjoying the people and the enthusiasm. Whole vibration in the air. It's everybody come to have a good time. Is it total laxity, total reverence, enjoyment, just letting loose, right? It's a participation event, that's what makes Carnival so really great. People are very positive. I'm having a great time here. We all enjoyed this very much. Just the atmosphere is fantastic. Visitors and locals, young and old, abandoned themselves to the exciting world of masks, movement and music. one of feverish excitement as the bands and artists prepare for the competition that will crown them champions and monarchs of the carnival. for four days. It's a wonderful place to be. The whole scene, national party. I must enjoy carnival because I'm going to wind up all the time. One marvels at the total harmony that is so strikingly apparent during this festive season as barriers of color, creed and race are lost in the gay revelry of carnival. so nice to be back in Port of Spain and see the best women in the world moving. And thousands of revelers burst through the streets as the festival erupts into two glorious fun-filled days of uninhibited bacchanal. <laughs> It's 
it's the colour and the atmosphere, I think, which is the most attractive thing about it. And particularly the sort of thing that's going through now, the themes and all the varieties to them. get an opportunity to act out a particular part of my psyche that I enjoy like this year I'm a Piero you know which is very soft and floppy and last year it was something else this I, I think that um, this is what I like about it The climax is over, and as King Carnival leaves to return another year, the country basks in the sweet peace of its afterglow. If you want to enjoy a peaceful, relaxing vacation in one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean, then Tobago is for you. Ocean Point is one of its most idyllic beaches. The beauty is so rich that you can almost taste it. Come with me now. Let's experience its beauty together. standing right here in the middle of the sea. This shivering expanse of clear blue water that you see before you is called an island pool. Looks like something out of a fairy tale, doesn't it? No, it's just one of the many natural wonders of Tobago. It is believed that Daniel Defoe based his book Robinson Crusoe on this island, where man stood face and even today, it remains unspoilt and undiscovered. Tobago is a paradise. The islands of Trinidad and Tobago offer a warmth, beauty and excitement that will leave you with many precious and lasting memories. Come, see for yourself. Discover a world that the world hasn't discovered. Trinidad and Tobago. Just the two of us and you. Now our team band is the best talent in the world. Like how the told our stories are told. This is great on the pretty soul. So this lovely land of my home, small but overwhelming in world. And as you know, carnival is the greatest for the corner.
of sweet. Roughly rectangular in shape and about 50 miles by 37, perched on the southern tip of the Caribbean, just 30 minutes away from the Venezuelan mainland, is the twin island republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago, the most romantic, exotic, and friendliest of all the Caribbean islands. Our population is 1.4 million. In spite of that, you'll find Trinidad and Tobago uncrowded, unspoilt, and full of all kinds of unexpected pleasures. You'll never forget our breathtaking waterfalls, our array of tropical trees and shrubs, In Trinidad and Tobago, the climate is exactly right. Average daily temperatures range between a daytime high of 85 degrees and 75 at night. There are some eight hours of sunshine every day. Enough time for you to take in our many wonderful sights, including historical ones. In Trinidad and Tobago, you'll find our scenery as attractive as our climate. A drive over to Maracas Bay, one of the finest on the island, will take you over the steep slopes of the northern range. The view alone is well worth the trip. And our beaches have a character all their own. In Trinidad and Tobago, we offer golden sands and warm, clear waters. There is an on every side of our Twin Island Republic. Some of the most imposing examples of European architecture in Trinidad and Tobago, and indeed the Caribbean, can be seen in our capital city, Port of Spain. Most of the larger buildings demand a second look, from the cathedrals of Gothic design, to the Hall of Justice, to the Red House, the seat of government. What's also unique about Trinidad and Tobago is the fact that every religious persuasion finds an equal place in our society. Accommodations in Trinidad and Tobago, never a problem from world-renowned hotels like the Hilton to several locally owned. The local tourist board offices can certainly assist in the choice of accommodations for you in Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, our entertainment houses are many. Trinidad and Tobago also offers food as varied and as cosmopolitan as our people. The local fruit and vegetables grow in abundance and you can enjoy a veritable feast at any time. You'll also love our music. Trinidad and Tobago has given the world Calypso and Steel Band.
I said a legendary act. Sing one for me. No Melo. one can deny that fact. Sing one for me. A spoiler who call. Sing one for Melo. And Melo couldn't refuse at all. The mighty Sparrow, Calypso King of the World, is also from Trinidad and Tobago. For sheer excitement and fun, nothing can beat the spectacular colors, costumes, and carefree abandon of carnival in Trinidad and Tobago. A thrilling experience of a lifetime. One of the world's great tourist attractions, Carnival has a deep personal meaning to all Trinidadians and Tobagonians. Carnival embodies the joyful temperament of our people and gives free rein to the exuberant gaiety and wit so evident in our national love of music, song and dance. And when the carnival is over, you can retire to the quiet of places like the Wildfowl Trust, a sanctuary that takes on the responsibility of keeping wildfowls that are facing extinction in Trinidad and Tobago. The endangered species are kept for protection and reproductive purposes. They are looked after by volunteer groups and naturalists. The Wildfowl Trust is open to the public and is indeed one of the many places in Trinidad and Tobago nature lovers would love to visit. On the sporting scene, visiting teams have found the level of competition surprisingly high. Horse racing is held every weekend, and of course Trinidad and Tobago forms part of the powerful West Indian lineup.
If your thing is just sitting and watching the sunset, you'll find the very best in Trinidad and Tobago any day of the week. So now you know what we're all about. We hope to see you soon in Trinidad and Tobago, the most southerly of the Caribbean islands. For more information on visiting Trinidad and Tobago, contact the Tourism Development Authority or the Trinidad and Tobago Hotel and Tourism Association. We look forward to seeing you in Trinidad and Tobago, a world the southern extremity of that bejeweled chain of emerald islands known as the Caribbean, at the confluence of the North American and South American continents, and just 11 kilometers east of Venezuela. Home of the Steel Band. Calypso. I don't mind me practicing the come from a foreign land. and Limbo. Inheritors of the Pitch Lakes, one of the natural wonders of the world. Trinidad and Tobago, a land of near total literacy, of industry and enterprise. sophistication and simplicity of unrivaled scenic beauty Trinidad and Tobago where every creed and race find an equal place my island is the only place I know where people friendly and the pace of We are a fun-loving people who sparkle with the radiance of a tropical sun, whose effervescence is judiciously tempered by the all-pervading easterly trade winds. As that song says, one must be mad to want to leave this island paradise. Some of us do, albeit temporarily. But each year, impelled by an indefinable urge, we return like the proverbial swallows of Capistrano, joined by thousands of overseas visitors, to take part in carnival, increasingly referred to as the greatest show on earth. It's great. We were so impressed that you could get very, very close to everything and see everything. People were great. Marvelous experience. <laughs> but what is carnival? While it may mean many things to many people, it is generally agreed that at no other time is there such an esprit de corps, such joie de vivre. Carnival is a showcase of the best and the brightest, the most innovative, the kings. The 
the Queens. It's a time for the coming together of all races, creeds, and colors in a period of unbridled revelry that is seen nowhere else in the world. Carnival is the Calypso. That saucy, witty, sometimes zany precursor to the musical montage which draws from all elements that make up this cosmopolitan society. Unique with its strong syncopation, topicality, and double entendre, a visit to a Calypso tent is an unforgettable experience. Nuclear warhead, do I see it torn down? And there's an army, an army in retreat. I see the old colonials of Europe become united and perestroika fills the street. I see the eagle on the shoulder of the bear or maybe it's the other way around. Is this the calm before the hellfire? Or is our tomorrow really heaven bound? 1990, the black in Bogota. And from Beirut to Johannesburg, the rivers don't stop. 1990, third world children still wander in their boats, their jungles, their deserts, until they drop. Oh. It is strange, the more we change, rearrange, oh yeah, 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 everything just seems the same, into the next century, 1990, please make a liar of me. when the steel bands clash to determine who's best and whose tunes will be the most played during the season. These are the tunes to which thousands of feet will shuffle in the dance halls and on the streets. The steel band, the only true musical invention of the 20th century, provides the catalyst for all celebrations. French heritage and meaning the break of day signals the dawn of two days of unrivaled revelry. A sea of jubilant humanity unleashed. And where the music titillates the soul. Juve, as old as carnival itself. A time to free up and play oneself. Or play a devil. Stage a mock fight with a fellow denizen of the netherworld. Or to be just plain silly. It's a time for masks, to play King Kong, or be pirate for a day, even be pretty for a day. Carnival is the precursor to Lent, although festivities start right after Christmas with the Calypso season and innumerable fetes. 
Celebrations officially start three days before Lent on the Sunday night with the Dimash Gras, a gala performance of all winners in all preliminary contests. The traditional start is at four on Monday morning with the Jouvert. This runs right through to Tuesday night, when at precisely midnight, it all ends. The next day is Ash Wednesday, when predominantly Roman Catholic Trinidad begins 40 days of Lenten observances. Thus, from dawn to mid-morning, the revelers herald the arrival of King Carnival. Carnival, with the hypnotic, hip-swaying, mesmerizing music of the steel band, as revelers, Pied Piper-like, drift along amidst a blaze of color and splendor. Carnival Tuesday is the day that no one misses. All humanity and their relatives are out. The streets are alive. All roads lead to the vast green spark savannah, the mecca of the carnival celebrations. Here, the bands converge in a dazzling display of color that rivals the rainbow. This is the climax to months of preparation. year. The road is for walking on carnival days, and we walk. We chip. We prance. We dance. And we gyrate. This is masquerade to boggle the mind. Small mass, big mass, with colors that would put a thousand rainbows to shame where young and old alike take part on equal terms. When ordinary folk mix and mingle with famous faces, when visitors let go as never before. Carnival is a photographer's dream. Take your pick of greens and blues and reds and every imaginable color combination that makes the greatest show on earth. Then soon, all too soon, night falls and the last band comes on stage. And as the last revelers struggle to move their tired feet, 
there is a feeling of sadness, a wish that it would never end. It is goodbye to the Merry Monarch for yet another year. Just to party until they drop Like a battlefield in a war zone From the guns of Calypso But he's falling to a throw So then we men start to take my prisoner But too much the fire Hey, hey They singing, no, no, we ain't going home We are leaving, no, no, we ain't going home Cause we feel that with natural color and a degree of creativity visitors will find compelling. It's no coincidence that the search for the fabled El Dorado, City of Gold, began in Trinidad. Trinidad's cosmopolitanism its cultural and ethnic diversity is a direct result of its rich history. The population of 1.3 million offers the world the present example of a truly mixed people and hope for the future of racial harmony. There are the descendants of African slaves, Indian indentured laborers, Spanish, French and English settlers, workers from China and the Mediterranean, and those from the Middle East and Asia who came seeking their fortunes. Carnival is both high point and focus of the nation's dynamic popular culture. The greatest show on earth attracts thousands of visitors annually, either to play mass in one of the many colorful carnival bands or as spectators. Carnival designers like Peter Minchel who designed the opening ceremony at the 1992 Barcelona Olympic Games, and Wayne Barclay, are internationally recognized. Originally brought to Trinidad by French settlers at the end of the 18th century, Carnival developed into the People's Festival, spawning both Calypso and Steel Band. Trinidad is a party, or fete, and will happily welcome you to join in the fun or bacchanal. Once you hear Calypso and Soca music, you'll want to start moving too. And Carnival is only one of the many festivals in Trinidad and Tobago. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. There are religious festivals like Pagwa, the Hindu New Year. Diwali, the Hindu festival of lights, with its own exhibition, the Diwali Nagar, showcasing Hindu culture. There's Hose, the Muslim festival, celebrated to the mesmeric beat of the Tassa drums. Trinidad is proud of its national instrument, the steel pan. An acoustic instrument, invented in the 20th century, and created with typical inventiveness from discarded oil drums. The steel band's roots lie in African drumming, and the engine room with its iron men is the heartbeat of any steel band. Besides the two annual national competitions for schools and big bands at Panorama, there are other festivals and competitions celebrating Sweet Pan. Ramage for small bands and soloists highlights the players' improvisational skills. In August, there's the Week of Pan Festival, and a recent development has been the Pan Jazz Festival in November, founded in 1986. In Tobago in July, the Pan Heritage Festival which keeps alive Tobagonian traditions like the real and the old-time wedding and where visitors can sample some of the excellent Tobago cuisine. If you want more action than lying on the beach, there's a complete spectrum of sports, spectator and participatory to choose from. Tobago's 80-hole Mount Irvin golf course hosts international tournaments and its coral reefs offer scuba divers 
spectacular encounters with brilliantly colored tropical fish. Trinidad's north coast attracts international windsurfers and surfers, and there's a well-equipped yacht club and marina. The great race for powerboats from Trinidad to Tobago is a high point of the sporting year. And deep-sea fishermen can grapple with some of the largest fish in the Caribbean off Tobago's north coast. Cricket is a national pastime, and a one-day international at Queen's Park Oval is a fundamental culinary and sporting occasion. If you just want to commune with nature and check out the abundant flora and fauna, try Trinidad's Acerite Nature Center, perched in the foothills of the Northern Range. Here you can discover some of the 400 species of birds and 600 species of butterflies, and of course, the forest wildlife. A visit to the Karani Bird Sanctuary, the Pointe-Pere Wildfowl Trust, and the Botanical Gardens in Porto Spain offer an insight into Trinidad and Tobago's immensely varied natural life. While a stroll through the capital city of Porto Spain reveals architecture as varied as the many peoples who came here. So how does one get to these yet undiscovered islands? BWIA, the national carrier, along with major European and Northern South American airlines, offer access to the Co International Airport. There are also direct flights into Tobago's Crown Point Airport from London, France, The investment policy of the government of Trinidad and Tobago is well defined. It provides firm, clear guidelines for industrial investors. The main principles on which it is based are that Trinidad and Tobago will remain a mixed economy, with the private sector being responsible for most incremental investment. That foreign capital is very welcome and is expected to play an increasing role in the economy that joint venture arrangements as well as 100% foreign-owned enterprises are welcome. Within this policy framework, some of the factors used in assessing and evaluating the desirability of industrial projects are their ability to earn foreign exchange, number of jobs created, the use of local raw materials where available, the extent to which they stimulate technological development, and lead to the development of new and modern industry. Areas of activity that are open to foreigners are petrochemicals, other types of chemicals, resource-based industries, plastics, knowledge-based industries, engineering and capital goods, labor-intensive industries for export, and hotel development. Petrochemicals is now a well-established part of the Trinidad and Tobago industrial landscape in fact, petrochemicals are the country's second largest source of foreign exchange, and this country is one of the world's largest exporters of ammonia. There are also possibilities for gas-based petrochemicals, including ethylene, propylene, and polypropylene, encouraging investments in downstream projects of the existing energy-based industries of ammonia, urea, and methanol. Some of these downstream opportunities include investment in MTBE, acetic acid, melamin, urea formaldehyde, and phenolic resin. Investment in such plants is attractive because of the availability of raw materials, relatively low-cost energy, and skilled and experienced labor at competitive wage rates. Other investment opportunities exist in the chemical industry as well. These include calcium carbide, sodium chlorate, abrasives, and adhesives. One very satisfied foreign investor in petrochemicals is Phoenix Park Gas Processors Limited, a joint venture between the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago, Conoco Incorporated, and Pan West Constructors Incorporated of the USA. 20 months ago today, three companies the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited, Conoco Inc., and Pan West Engineers and Constructors Inc. sat down at a table and executed a joint venture agreement, which officially formed Phoenix Park Gas Processors Limited. That event marked the conclusion of many months of negotiations and the beginning of a fast-paced process 
opportunities, and the availability of local and regional clays provide opportunities in the making of ceramics. The manufacture of resins and of plastics have long been identified as two areas in the energy sector with great potential for growth. Plastic components for commercial applications, plastic products for the office and home, plastic articles that can replace metal products, and plastic for other engineering applications, all are attractive investment opportunities. Knowledge-based industries are among the fastest growing worldwide and Trinidad and Tobago is anxious to join the movement. Our existing knowledge-based infrastructure of computerization, software development and telecommunications make us the ideal place for investors in these activities. Opportunities are available in data processing, software development, telemarketing and the digitizing of various architectural and engineering drawings. In this field, skilled labor is also available at competitive wage rates, and suitable joint venture partners have shown interest in this sector. The government of Trinidad and Tobago is committed to strengthening the country's industrial base by developing an engineering and capital goods sector. In fact, Trinidad and Tobago already has in place an iron and steel complex, produce iron or DRI, steel billets, and wire rods. Downstream investment would be welcome in areas such as agricultural tools and machinery, machine tools, components for the oil and chemical industries, hand tools and various metal products. Garment production for export also holds great possibilities, particularly in the U.S. market, because of the special facility Trinidad and Tobago enjoys under the Caribbean Basin Initiative Preferential Trading Arrangement. Exports of garments benefit from the guaranteed access level system for goods made from U.S. fabrics, as well as the designation consultation level system for goods made from non-U.S. fabric. Here is an investment opportunity for you. Trinidad and Tobago, a country which can provide preferential access to North American, European, and Caribbean markets, and which has all the infrastructure you need, the environment you require, and the incentives you must have to do profitable business. Trinidad and Tobago's geographic location is one of its key commercial advantages. This twin island republic, just off the South American mainland, is strategically located for trade and travel in relation to North and South America, Western Europe, and the Far East. Trinidad and Tobago shares the same time zone as the eastern coast of the United States of America. The country has been independent since 1962 and is governed by a democratically elected House of Representatives and a nominated Senate under a Republican Constitution. Trinidad and Tobago is the hub of commerce and communication for this region affording as it does easy access by air and sea traffic to regional and world markets. In addition to its own airline, BWIA, the country is serviced by many of the major international carriers and daily flights leave Piaco International Airport to major destinations around the world. Trinidad's main ports are located at Port of Spain, Point Lisas and Point A Pair. Facilities include container terminals, multi-purpose general cargo berths, storage sheds, and bulk discharge and loading of both solid and liquid cargoes. As an integral part of the most advanced telecommunications networks in the world today, Trinidad and Tobago offers a unique competitive advantage and a powerful impetus to businesses with options. An advanced compact earth station is located in the Point Lisas free zone area. This fully digital earth station is capable of satisfying high speed requirements for all information database services. Because of our modern communication links and our educated and dedicated workforce, major international companies are using Trinidad as an offshore base for processing information. Trinidad and Tobago has been an oil producer since 1910 
and its vast reserves of natural gas have more recently provided the impetus for ever-expanding opportunities for downstream applications. Natural gas is piped from offshore fields to the free zones and industrial parks at very competitive prices. The country's industrial development, fueled by its natural energy resources, has been facilitated through participation of foreign investors pawned a vibrant local manufacturing sector. Well, Amico in Trinidad has been in Trinidad uh, since the early 60s as far as oil exploration. Um, Amico's involvement in Fertron started really in the mid-70s um, when the substantial amounts of gas re reserves were developed in Trinidad in the 60s. Around the early 70s, uh, Amico uh, made a proposal to the government on potentially getting into some downstream joint ventures and fertilizers at that time was one that they looked at. And around the mid-70s they concluded, uh, after some feasibility studies concluded, uh, that uh, a fertilizer complex uh, would uh, make commercial sense and uh, tie in nicely to Amoco's already involvement in Trinidad through oil and gas. Well, we are involved in uh, decorative plastics, the manufacture of decorative plastics are sold in the United States market to uh, uh, gift retailers and wholesalers. I also operate factories in the Orient, which uh, have served their purpose very well. But from my standpoint, uh, relating it to the specific needs for the United States market, I find uh, working in Trinidad in the same time zone, East Coast time zone, you're not dealing 12 hours away dealing with an English-speaking population here, uh, dealing with a, a country such as Trinidad that has a uh, well-established infrastructure uh, as opposed to uh, many other developing nations do not have the infrastructure that Trinidad has, has, has uh, and, and, the, and the, the responsiveness of the government here of Trinidad to our needs, and also the uh, private sector responsiveness to accept all those things have played a very important part uh, uh, in making it a very easy transition in respect to what we've been doing in China to what we're now doing in Trinidad. It has been good business and the mere fact that um, the group decided that we can uh, expand operations here means we're doing very good. Trinidad and Tobago has installed an infrastructure geared for industrial development. To this end, Trinidad has put in place an efficient land transportation network, modern port and airport facilities, the largest electrical facility in the Commonwealth Caribbean, and an adequate water supply. Trinidad and Tobago enjoys a well-established and sophisticated financial system. Apart from the central bank, there are eight major banks operating in Trinidad several of which are affiliated to foreign banks. As the truly largest international bank in the world, are bankers for a number of clients who invest in free zones. We are frequently asked by these clients for our advice about investing in Trinidad, and we would take into consideration our own experience from our investment in Trinidad, which has been very profitable. We would therefore highly recommend Trinidad as a place to invest. There is also an active stock exchange. However, the country's major asset for investors is its people. Education is afforded high priority and is available through a combination of excellent government and parochial schools and a university of international standard. To satisfy the needs of the ever-expanding manufacturing sector, particular emphasis has been placed on technical education and training of technicians. In Trinidad, you can find all the skills from highly qualified engineers to fully trained assembly technicians. Well, we've been uh, pleasantly surprised with the standard of the workforce. Uh, you know, I go back and look a year and a half ago that nobody in Trinidad knew anything about decorative plastics. And uh, the only other place in the world where decorative plastic production takes place and the scale we're doing here is in the Orient, places like China. Sri Lanka, uh, probably Thailand, countries such as that, 
And this is the first attempt, in my knowledge, to trying to do it here in the Western Hemisphere, in Trinidad. And uh, we found that the labor force is very trainable. We think, uh, uh, very modestly, we think that Fertron has developed uh, in this area probably uh, what I feel is uh, the cream of the crop and, and uh, of uh, talented people across the board, from technicians to engineers. That the training that's been done and the level of qualified people that uh, are really available here uh, is, is quite evident. We think we have uh, quite an efficient workforce. In fact, we're very proud of uh, the efficiency of our workers, the discipline of our workers. Trinidad and Tobago's first free zone is located at Point Lisas in close proximity to the Point Lisas industrial estate, port facility and power station. Here are some of the advantages to manufacturers locating within the free zone in Trinidad. Total exemption from customs duties on capital goods, spare parts and raw materials for use in the construction and equipping of the premises and in connection with the approved activity. Exemption from import and export licensing. Complete exemption of all corporation and withholding taxes in respect of profits or gains from manufacturing, international trading in products, or from export of services such as data processing and telemarketing. Free movement of funds into and out of the free zones. Expeditious and efficient customs procedures ready to occupy factory shells in the free zones which are presently nearing completion for a number of local and foreign investors. As chairman of the free zone company, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all business people who have seen this video to visit Trinidad and Tobago and to see with your own eyes what we have been articulating to you in our promotional material. We would well, put out a welcome mat for you. We would show you and all our industrial parks and things that you want to see. Visit the factories to see what happened, discussions with other businessmen, discussions with other investors from overseas, so that you yourself can make your own final judgment in where you want to locate. On behalf of the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago, I would like, as Minister of Industry, Enterprise, and Tourism, to thank you for viewing this video and to welcome you to Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago enjoy significant benefits on the CBI in the United States, on the Carib Can in Canada, on the Lome in the EEC countries. And within the CARICOM region, we are part of the CARICOM network, which, with new arrangements being put in place, will become a single investment destination and a single marketplace. The Caribbean and Latin America are engaged in activities that are geared to open up the South American continent to the countries of the Caribbean region. More than that, very aware of what is happening with the Enterprise of the Americas initiative in the hemisphere, Trinidad and Tobago is seeking to prepare for this major initiative and going through its own process of liberalizing its economy. We invite you to come and see for yourselves and to make your investment as well as your home in Northern Tobago.